That's right, an item guide for your favorite champion, Gragas, for every viable role. Mm -hmm. Gragas is an extremely flexible champion that can be played in a lot of ways in four different roles. So when it comes to itemization, it can be very complicated. But do not problem, I have all the information that you need to succeed. First of all, it is very important to understand what your job is in each given game. Always look at both team comps during champ select to determine what your rune slash item setup should be. For example, you can build full AP Bomba to one-shot enemies. This is a very viable strategy, but if the enemy team has two or or three frontline champions, this becomes extremely hard because they will tank all the damage for their team. So then you're left sitting there very sad with very high cooldowns, doing absolutely nothing in a fight. In cases like this, it is much better to just build ability haste. So you're able to peel yourself and your team from these evil creatures called tanks and bruisers. Boo -boo. Of course, every game is different, so you need to adapt to whatever card you're dealt and make the best out of it. This is why I've loved playing Gragas for over eight years now. You can play Gragas into almost every matchup and win. So now let's move on to the actual item guide. I'm going to cover the lanes in order from top to support. For each role I'm going to give the most consistent build that will work in most games. These builds are not exclusive to their given roles, but they are the most consistent in these roles. So feel free to try them out in any role and see what works best for you. I'm not going to rank which role is best or worse for Gragas because I believe that this all comes down to personal preferences and experiences. Also, stop asking me about Rod of Ages, that item sucks. So let's begin with top lane. In top lane you are usually facing bruisers or tanks. So the best way to build Gragas is also kinda like a bruiser, so you are able to keep up with your lane opponent. A bruiser Gragas build would look like this. Please keep in mind that you can change the build according to what you need in your game. For example, do the enemies have a lot of tanks? If so, then switch up Everfrost to Leandris to be able to burn through their health a lot easier. Do they have almost no physical damage? Then build Abyssal Mask first and Frozen Heart later or even not at all. The main goal of this build is to be weak side top lane. This means that you want to be left alone by your team during your laning phase and want to just draw pressure to you while surviving and being as annoying as possible. Even if you're inting, you can still be very useful because your power spike items are very cheap. This is in my opinion the most noob friendly way to play Gragas, so if you're new to Gragas, you should definitely give this a shot. Alright now, moving on to jungle. Jungle Gragas is completely different compared to lane Gragas. In the jungle you don't really have mana issues because of the passive mana regen you get from your jungle item, so you don't have to rush lost chapter to be able to play the game. A good Gragas jungle build looks like this. Same thing goes just like the top lane build, you need to change according to what you need in a game. This build is very solid, but you can optimize it depending on the circumstances. For example, does the enemy team have a lot of high ranged squishy champions like Ziggs, Caitlyn or Lux? Then building Hextag Rocket Belt instead of Night Harvester is a lot better. The dash and magic pen from Rocket Belt just helps you close the gap and one shot a lot easier. Another great example is, if the enemy team has a lot of bruisers or tanks, then you should switch Shadow Flame with Cosmic Drive. Just like in top lane build, having more ability haste allows you to play a lot easier into these type of champions. <coughs> And now let's focus on the real lane, the lane for the absolute giga chats amongst Gragas mains, mid lane. Mid lane Gragas is the lane where all the bombas happen. Usually this is because most of your lane opponents are squishy with little mobility. Think about mages like Victor, Vex, Talia. At first glance, these champions might seem very strong versus Gragas, but in reality, you can win almost any matchup due to Gragas' crazy outplay potential. I'm not gonna go too in-depth over the matchups because this is an item guide, but essentially, most players that play these champions make many mistakes and will play overconfident, especially in lower elos. So even if you're getting poked all the time, they will often leave you with plenty of room for punishment. Especially if you're playing the build that I'm about to show you right now. This is the build that I'm talking about. It is very important that you take this rune page. Eyeball collection, absolute fungus, gathering storm are key. You want to have as much AP as possible, not only to one-shot your lane opponent, but also the minion wave. Pushing waves as fast as possible with the least amount of abilities is really important in mid lane, so you can look to help your jungler or roam. Make sure to start tier of the goddess because you're going to build Seraphs after rocket belt. Even without a mana mythic, the new Seraphs is very strong and will give you a total of 102 AP. You don't really need to go a mana mythic if you're going Seraphs 
seraphs, you only get 15 extra AP from the 600 bonus mana from any mana mythic. In total, this is only 5 AP more than if you're just going Rocket Belt. Because Rocket Belt gives 90 AP, which is 10 more AP than what Ludens gives. So I don't think it's very necessary to have a mana mythic, because Rocket Belt is an extremely powerful item for Gragas, especially in the mid lane. Being able to dash through minions to surprise Bomba is especially strong. Rocket Belt, Seraphs, Death Gap are definitely core items, and with this exact setup, you will end up having 570 AP with just those 3 items and one shot anything you touch. This is a 1v9 Bomba build, very high risk, high reward type of playstyle, definitely my favorite way to play Gragas. And now, last but not least, support. The best way to play support Gragas, in my opinion, is like a flexible disengage or engage support. This means building as much cheap ability haste as possible. That's why I recommend this build. This is basically Impregnator Gragas, but a more realistic version without the expensive AD items. You can still get to extremely low cooldowns with this build, and it's really fun. You want to rush boots as soon as possible so you're able to roam easier. You want to build Shirelias because it's very cheap and it gives the same ability haste as going any other ability haste mythic. After Shirelias, you want to build Cosmic Drive because it synergizes very well with this playstyle. After Cosmic Drive, you build the big star of this build, Watchful Wardstone. This item will upgrade to Vigilant Wardstone after you complete your support item and reach level 13. This item is what enables the whole Impregnator Gragas build. It has 15 ability haste base and increases your ability haste and other stats by 12%. This means you can get to some crazy ability haste numbers. My highest I ever had was 281. This is definitely the most fun way to play Gragas support. So there you go guys, a build for every role Gragas can play. Like I said before, most of these builds are viable in each role. Just mix it up to your own liking, even try out some items you've not tried before. In the end, it's just basic AP itemization, so items like Banshees and Zonias can always be good. Have a bombastic day!